You might be wondering now, uh, why have I got my electric guitar in my shed? I haven't got a clue. Welcome back to Collins Custom Street Fighter Conversion. <laughs> see that. <laughs> That's how high the action is on this gazelle. You'd be half an inch or even more. Wow. So yes a few of you guys have been asking about the uh, Divi 900. Basically I've just scrapped it. Get it to the scrap man. Not really, only joking. Oh, I had you worried then, didn't I? No, carburetors. Like, like I said I was going to do a few weeks ago. Take everything out of this carburetor, put it into this one. And everything out of this one, put it into this one. And that's what I did. And as we know, this spot will keep burning black and sooty. Put it on the bike, started it up. Did run for a long, long time, left it running, came back. All fuel was pouring out of this one. Uh, I cleaned all that up, stripped all the paint off my engine very nicely and my alternator. So I've got to repaint them and anyway, get back to it, took the spark plug out on this, just burning, well, fairly okay, no black salt, took this one out, burning fairly okay, not as it used to be, nice and burning proper, same with all the others, there's only this one what was burning proper, all these three were slightly blackened but not sooty. So, when, when I, I noticed when I changed the parts off this one, I just changed the needle of old, which is brand new in this one, just swapped it into that one. I left the needle of old seat, which is the brand new seat, still in that side. So that's probably why that leaked. So anyway, I put the new needle valve back in this side, and what I'm doing is buying needle valves and gasket kits for each one and they are about £15 each so I'm doing it one at a time so I've got one and you know when I get some money I'll get another one when I get some more money I'll get another one and then I can put them all back together and uh, don't worry about it I will keep you posted so if anybody knows how to set the fuel level on these carburetors without using stupid pipes and measuring how much fuel's in the pipe, what's going up there, the pipe stick it up here and then you've got the fuel basically showing you how much is in there. If anybody knows an easier way of doing it on the divvy, please leave a comment down there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe over there. Anyway, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing, the CBR1000F. So last week we did say we would be uh, taking out the timing chain tensioner to examine it, but as you can see the engine's gone, that's because I've buttoned it all back up and put it away safely, because why strip that engine first when I can strip this one and learn a bit more about it? So what I'm going to do is make this video as uh, getting the other pipes off and make a video of stripping the engine down, getting the engine out and stripping it down. Had a oh look. You've got a white feather. Let's leave that in there, aren't I? 
might bring me good luck. So anyway, yes, let's uh, get these fantastic conditioned edit pipes off. And I'm sure I'll get them on eBay. Then before we can get our edits off, we've got to get the rest of the exhaust off this side. Luckily, this one is coming loose. But unfortunately, this one isn't. Just totally rounded off. So, let's go back to the Stonehenge method. Stonehenge, Stone Age method. Stonehenge. Yes, let's go back to the stone engine method. <laughs> Feel very solid anyway, so I shouldn't think this is going to work. No, that's definitely not going to work, so. Try these again. didn't work. Let's try this. Knackered, completely effing knackered. So let's try and do these bolts then. Already you can see one that's been snapped. I didn't do it. Well, two. There's another one here missing. What you can do is try. I wonder what to say the spanner is. 12 seems to be too big. Time to 
going to be a silly 11. That's 10. Whoa. They're just 10 millimeter knots. Whoa. Very tight 10 millimeter. Very tight 10 millimeter knots. Jesus. some leverage on it. That my rocket set. Rocket set. Socket set. That's a ten. channel tunnel. See me on this one. <laughs> Jesus. How about the wind getting up?
here, so that's day three out of the way. Uh, day four, which will be next week, we'll be getting the engine out of the frame, Roy. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll uh, see you next week. Thank you. Miserable cunt.